Okay. So, you guys take a look at this. There's two two lines here. All right. Um, one thing I wanted to remind you guys, or kind of take you back, like I said, the memory lane, is one thing. We'll take a look at this angle. So, if you guys remember, we had a 90 degree angle, right? And 90 degrees angles, we said equal, or sorry, right angle, equal 90 degrees, correct? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And so, what we said was, if we said, well, one of those angles was 20 degrees and the other was x, we could write an expression, right? This was like the basics of geometry. You could say, well, we could say that x plus 20 degrees equaled 90, right? Because that was a right angle. Yes. Then we learned about straight angles. And straight angles we learned equaled 180 degrees. So if I had that same angle and I said this was 20 degrees and this was y, what we could say was 180 degrees, which was my straight angle, is equal to y plus 20 degrees. Right? Everybody remember that? Okay. So now, to solve each one of those, a general equation for all complementary angles, what you could say is x equal 90 degrees minus 20. It doesn't matter what this angle is, you're always going to subtract it from 20 to get your answer, correct? Right? Yeah. And this one's the same thing. I can write y equals 180 degrees minus 20. So whenever you're dealing with a straight angle, if I give you one angle, you always subtract it from 180 to get y. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to be talking about comp, uh, we're going to talk about um, these and remember we call these two angles what we call complementary and these are what we call supplementary right complementary and supplementary angle complementary are when two angles add up to equal 90 degrees and supplementary are when two angles add up to give you 180 degrees we cool. Okay, so now ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is now we're going to be dealing with angles <coughs> in terms of radians. So let's say I give you the angle, um, since I did a difficult one last time, let's deal with, uh, let's deal with something easy. Let's just do pi over 4. So if I have pi over 4, first of all, we need to remember where is pi over 4. Well, if I start on my initial side, what you get over here would be four pi, which would be also 4 over 4. Right? So therefore, I could say that would be pi over 4. Because 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So my angle pi over 4 is right here. Um, now what I need to do is I need to figure out what this angle is, which instead of using x, I'll use theta. Okay. So what I can say then is I can say, oh, I'm sorry, and also, before I get to this, I'm not going to be dealing with degrees. right? We, deal, we dealt with degrees and angles, but since we're dealing with radians, I want to always be dealing with radians so far. So if this, is pi, if this is 4 pi over 4, what is halfway between 4 pi over 4 and the 0? Think about this way. This is 1 pi over 4. This is what? 2 pi over 4. It's the same thing as 1 half, right? Okay. And this one would have been 3 pi over 4, right? So therefore, if I want to find the complementary angle, instead of using 90 degrees, 90 degrees is the same thing as 2 pi over 4. So what I'll write is 2 pi over 4. So I'll say theta, sorry. Theta equals my 90 degrees, which is 2 pi over 4, um, minus my angle, which is 1 fourth. Does anybody have any questions on where I brought in any of those numbers? Does that make sense? Um, that's just radians, that's only degrees. This is radians. That's radians from the above one degree. That was for degrees, that was for a geometry problem. That was to introduce you to this. Wait, I have a question. So, <laughs> From that starting uh, point, like where the arrow points up, from that starting point, that's all right. One 
full circle that I went into your life that had also at that point is zero. Think about it, yes. Think about it this way. If I'm at this line right here, have I moved at all? So my measure is zero, right? Shh. My measure is zero, right? But as I go around the circle, one pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, five pi, six pi, seven pi, eight pi over four, right? Eight pi over four is the same thing as two pi. So therefore, that's why they're still equal to each other. But this one is pretty much essential to zero, and that would be like going around the circle to take you back. Yes? Another question. Oh, yep. Could you, like, I know we're not into degrees yet, but then could, could you, like, after you get a certain degree, if, you, if they give you a degree from the inside angle and you find the outside angle and you know, subtract from 360, could you make that into a fraction to solve the equation? We'll talk about that actually later today in class. Um, so I'll go over that example. So, but does everybody understand the 90 degrees? That's 2 pi over 4 minus my one angle. It's just like this, except now we're using radian. Yes? Okay. So then I subtract this. So 2 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 is just equal to what? Pi over 4. Then over here, if I have my pi over 4 um, is uh, it's right there. And now I need to figure out this angle, which I'll just call theta prime. Okay, just a different angle. So if I want to find theta prime, again, remember you take 180. Well, what it was 180? 180 is over here. Which is 4 pi over 4, right? So we'll say 4 pi over 4. That's 180 degrees in radians, right, for this problem. So I can say theta prime equals, because theta prime is this angle, 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. So therefore, theta prime equals 4 pi over 4 minus pi is going to be 3 over 4. So the main important thing I want to stress in your head, guys, whenever you're doing complementary and supplementary angles, when you have complementary, all you need to do is take 90 and subtract your angle. And to take supplementary, you can subtract, you take 180 and subtract your angle. All right? Yeah. Miranda, do you have your question you want to ask? Any more? What is the value? Mr. Glover.